What up, everybody, and welcome back to Monday Night in the Pit. This series has been back with a bang, man. Thank you so much for the support last time I asked you. What do you think will be the most successful Halo game in MCC coming to the PC and why? So let's dive in. Gentle Ben. I definitely want some Halo 4 on PC. I really enjoyed that multiplayer experience on the 360. NCR Ranger, can't wait for higher FOV in Halo 3 on PC. Honestly, that has always been my one gripe with playing that game on Xbox. I agree with you, Ranger. Halo 3 with some FOV settings is gonna be delicious. Archer Roth, I think Halo CE will be the best on PC because it's the least consoleized version of Halo. For example, there's no melee lunge, there are grenade tricks, very low bullet magnetism, and a low time to kill similar to CSGO, which I think will translate very well to the PC market. Well, it's already been on PC and I do agree with you, CE on PC is pretty darn rad. So long as they can preserve that custom edition experience when it comes to MCC, I think it will be successful. Great comment, thank you. Cameron Huffman with 50 upvotes. While I'm the most excited for H2A, I think Halo 3 is going to dominate and attract the most players overall. Well said, man. Halo 2 Anniversary has the potential with modders to be fantastic. For those of you who didn't play H2A at its launch point and grind that thing when it had a player base, it's got a very small map pool and a little bit too much data. It is a Halo 4 mod. It's the engine from Halo 4, and a lot of the things were just copy-pasted over. So the hit markers for both grenades and when you're shooting at opponents, makes the gameplay shift quite dramatically from Halo 2 Classic. It's also a lot slower movement speed than H2C and no button combos like in H2C. Halo 3 is gonna be fantastic, and honestly, I think that's where the majority of the modding experience is gonna be. But you're right, Cameron, if H2A gets the love it deserves from the modding community, I think it could be the most hype. Mr. Gaming Guy, I believe Halo 3 will be the most successful as it has some of the highest map variety and game types, but I feel that Halo 2, H2A, and H4 will feel the best to play. H2A will not be as popular as Halo 3, despite its gameplay being silky smooth and getting rid of button combos. The game also has less map variety and it's a more casual version of Halo 2. Like you said in the video, Halo 4 will feel great on PC. It's a more modern control, which will make it feel a bit more like a modern FPS. The game has sprint, which is modern. It has loadouts and it has kill streaks. I'd say Halo 4 would be a good jump again game for someone trying to get into Halo multiplayer because it still feels like a modern FPS, but it's also Halo. Thanks, Mr. Game Guy. Rex Zero. If Halo 2 Anniversary releases with a better customization system and lower the AI difficulty on Legendary, more health for the players and no jackals with aimbot, it'll be hands down the best Halo game. A lot of H2A love from you guys. Nathan Flynn. I honestly think Halo 4 will do really well on PC. Ericsson Films. I think it'll be between Halo 2 and Halo 3. Halo 3 is arguably the multiplayer with the most nostalgia and plays great for both casual and competitive thanks to a slower pace. Halo 2, on the other hand, is super fast, much closer to Halo 5, and I imagine we'll draw in many competitive players. Hype for both of them. Keep making great content, BBK Dragoon. Yo, thanks, Ericsson Films. Duskly Wishes. I feel Halo 4 will be the best multiplayer on the PC in the collection. I, too, was a huge fan of the BTB in Halo 4, as well as SWAT and Infection. If I had to pick a runner-up, I would say Halo 3 would be the next best Halo game on PC. Jay Penrake. Halo 2 Anniversary had very little exposure because of the rubbish launch of MCC, so I'm excited to show my friends the amazing remastered graphics, especially the cutscenes for their first time. They were once Halo 3 fans back in the day and lost touch with the series as it developed in wrong directions. I feel many people are in the same boat, so maybe Halo 2 Anniversary will be appreciated more on PC if 343 gets it right. It does give it a second chance at life, that's for sure, Jay. I hope it goes smoothly, because H2A can be pretty fun. Mickle to Pickle. I'm sure Halo 3 will do well. Not sure how many of the technical issues will come through with that game. Even then, people will still eat it up. I'm personally more excited for Halo 2 since I've never played Halo 2. Started with H3 and moved over to PC before MCC was released. Still can't wait to be playing all the games on PC, even Halo 4. Awesome, Mickle, and I hope you enjoy Halo 2. It is a rad game. Button combos for the win. Hijacked Halo, I think it's really hard to say for sure which title will be the best when it comes over to the PC. He goes on to say that Halo 1 and 2, I do think, will have their time to shine, especially Halo 2 Anniversary's mouthwatering graphics and cutscenes. Halo 4 mechanics, I'm sure, are going to translate well over to PC, but I personally think that the launch of Halo 3 is going to be insane. I think that a lot of Halo fans can agree with that, while being able to utilize features like uncapped frame rates and FOV changes, it's going to be awesome. Great question. Hope you're enjoying your 2020 so far. Thanks, Hijack Halo, and I agree, Halo 3 is likely going to be the hypest. I'm struggling with the name, so Miraganko Shakar Duta, 
Halo 2 is the most unique and beautiful of the Halo trilogy. Don't know much about Halo 3 as it wasn't released on PC, and I'm a big time PC player, so equally excited for Halo 3. I think you're gonna like Halo 3, man. H2 on PC is gonna be cool, but Halo 3 with uh, that FOV settings and running on cap frame rate, it's, it could be fantastic. Or it could be bad, because let's be honest here, Halo 3 had some massive hit detection issues, so we'll just wait and see. Thanks for the comment. DibK224, what's up, dude? Hey, BBK, longtime viewer. Always loved Monday Night in the Pit. I would say Halo 3 will blow any other game out of the water, with so many former pros going to PC. In addition, H3 not being added on PC before, and just the culture that was around H3 when it was the new Halo game. The competitive scene blew up with MLG, Forge, custom maps, and games were insane when it came out. Now with it being brought to PC, better graphics will be seen on a timeless game. Modders will get their hands on it, and I'm expecting H3 will top Steam charts for probably months after it launches. I'm calling it now, and you can take that to the bank. Anyway, love your vids. Keep up the great work. Dibk, well said. Thank you. I agree wholeheartedly with you. Kevin Coolex. You guys got to check this guy out. Amazing Halo YouTuber. We'll keep you up to date on all the news in the scene. CE, February release, Halo 2, April, ODST, June, H3, September, Halo 4, December. This year is looking to be one, if not the biggest years of Halo ever. Continual releases of Halo games on PC. We'll keep the franchise in the news and people talking and playing Halo. Infinite is going to be a major turning point for the franchise. New engine, games as a service, and it being a light reboot that this game is going to serve as a platform for FPS Halo for the next five years. Man, I hope you are right, dude. I hope Infinite lands super well and everybody is stoked with it. Thanks very much for the comment, Kevin. And I think it springboards into a great short little allude before next week's topic, and it, it deals with Halo Infinite. I think Halo has really struggled with lack of those shots in the arms that most of our other FPS franchises get. Limited time game modes, news, updates, all of them are excuses to inject hype points for the scene. And since Halo 5 stomped its ongoing support or they concluded their free DLC stuff, Halo has been rather quiet. I mean, obviously we had Halo Wars 2, but the last two, two and a half years, if you're a Halo content creator, you're kind of scraping the barrel when it comes to creative ideas of how to inject hype back into the scene, okay? And having each of these MCC releases peppered throughout the year is awesome. It gives people a chance to play something Halo, get hyped about something Halo, take a breath, walk away, go play something else, and then a few months later come back because there's something new to chew on. That's the modern paradigm, man. That's how it is in gaming these days. You need updates, you need limited time game modes, you need great communication, and you need to be able to inject some hype into the scene. So with that said, next week's topic is about Halo Infinite, our first speculation stuff on infinite what is the one thing that you think halo infinite needs to succeed one pick one i know there's plenty of things you could pick but i want you to prioritize i want you to put your um game developer hat on your hypothetical one if you were creating halo infinite what is the one thing it needs to nail the one thing it needs to have right out of the gate for it to be a success what is it and why let me know, and I will feature your responses in next week's Monday Night on the Pit. Not on the Pit, in the Pit. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you guys' this week starts extremely well. The best thing you can do to support the channel if you're enjoying this content, besides leaving your response to the topic, is subscribing and hitting the alarm bell so you make sure that you always are up to date when my next video goes live. I really appreciate the support. This series has come back with a big bang. Follow me over on Twitter, at BBK Dragoon. Thanks very much, and I will see you again next week.